Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY, and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new ones. And as I do on every video, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what we're going to be using for this craft. I've gotten some wooden houses we got from Hobby Lobby. I'm sure you could find some cheaper ones elsewhere. These were on sale. They were not $17. They were a good chunk off. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but maybe at most we spent like $5. And then I've got paint. I'm using pink, uh, excuse me, Princess Pink by Apple Barrel. Lemon Custard by Folk Art. Of course, White by Apple Barrel. And then True Green by Apple Barrel. And you can pick whatever colors you want. These are the ones I decide I'm going to go with. So, I mean, it's just truly to what you think you like. And then I got these little wooden cutout pieces from Dollar Tree that I want to use. So... Let's get started. All right, y'all. The first thing I'm going to do is paint these wooden pieces. And then we'll go from there. Start with white. And you're really just painting them the colors you want. And I thought the picket fence would look cute white. So that's what I'm doing. Now, I already told y'all I got my little wooden houses from Hobby Lobby when they were on sale, when the wood was on sale. Um, they were all the same size as you can see. What you can do is you can see if they have different size pieces wherever you go to get yours. It might make it, 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 it'll give it more of a dynamic appeal. I don't know. My brain's not functioning yet. So, that is also an option. But, either way you do it. You're just gonna paint and it'll work either way. I'm sorry y'all, my brain's just <laughs> not functioning right. So um what I wanted to do was and you also don't have to do it this way, you can do it a different way. Um I'm thinking about leaving them the plain color because I am painting the wood the little design I'm sorry and um, or you can paint the houses or you can even stain them it's just really up to you on what you feel you want to do with it I would not presume to tell anybody what to do. I can tell you what I'm going to do, and if you like it, you can do the same thing. But if you want to do different, it's completely up to you. All right, while my fence dries, because I'm and I'm probably going to do another coat because it is kind of light, I am going to paint my wheelbarrow, and I want to paint my wheelbarrow green. So... I'm going to do that and this stuff doesn't have to be 
detailed if you don't want it to. Like, I might go ahead and grab a black and paint the wheel black, which was not the plan originally. But, you know, sometimes you'll start doing something and you'll see it and you'll be like, oh, I want to do that, you know? So it, it's just really up to you and how you feel about it. So, but I'm thinking I might go ahead and paint the wheel black because I'm liking that idea the more I think about it. So, that is an option. So, hold on a second, y'all. So, um, again, this is not something you necessarily have to do, but I just decided to add a little extra touch to mine. And there's my little wheelbarrow. I think it came out looking really cute. Give me a second, I'll pick it up so you can see it. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I like it. Oops. All right, so this is dry. I'm gonna go ahead and do another coat of white because I, I want it to pop and I don't think that's gonna pop, so. Let's just add another coat and see what it does. It never hurts to add more color. Sometimes you think it's enough and then you find out just one more would have helped a lot. I don't want to go too far over the, not that it matters because it is white and you can cover it, but I'm trying not to, you know? And I think that's a lot better. Second now. There, I think that's a lot better for the white. Sorry. I like it. Yes, I think it works really well. Alright, so now we'll move on to the next one. I'm thinking about it. I wanted to make this flower white. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint that. And, you know, be creative um, and have fun, like I say all the time. Use whatever colors you like. If you like black, paint them black. This is supposed to be what you like. So... Don't be afraid to experiment. 
and come up with something great. Right. Probably gonna paint that again also just to make it pop, but we're gonna let it dry. And I was thinking this, I wanna paint the lemon custard color. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Excuse me, y'all. And this is just supposed to be fun. You know, don't stress too much about it. Just enjoy it. I might also take and paint the tip of this. Black, again, you don't have to. You can paint it all one color. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. So I'm liking that so far and I mean you can never tell what's right for you until you try it okay that's all I'm gonna say on that but I mean it's all about doing what you like and having fun I'm gonna keep preaching that until the very end Now look at that, ain't that cute? I'm probably gonna, like I said, paint the yellow again. I'm gonna let it dry and see how it looks. But I'm liking how this is coming out, y'all. I think it's cute. All right, so because I painted this white, I think I want to paint the base pink. So we're just gonna figure it out as we go. And I know I want to paint some of these flowers pink too, but we're going to start with the pot, the flower pot. And look at this. And don't worry if you mess up and get a color where it's, you're not wanting it. It's fine. It just makes it more interesting when you mix the colors together when you go to paint over it. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? So, I think I want to paint this pink. And I think I'm going to do this one over here pink. Right now I'm just playing around and seeing what I got. Let's see. Um Now I would normally use a smaller brush, but I didn't grab one. And I knew these were here, but sometimes my brain just don't work right. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So yeah, 
I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> and we'll go from there. So I'm going to let this colors dry and I'm going to move on to the next one. I think I'm going to go back over that white again to make it brighter. So let's do that real quick. You just work around and see what you got and go with what you have. And then you go from there. So. Just because I had a lot of white in that one spot, I'm just going to go over this again so I don't waste any color. There. Now, I think it's coming out looking good. I only got a little bit more to do. And then we'll be done with this and we'll just have to glue it on there. Alright, let's get to painting the next part. really it's just easy I mean you just find the colors and the spots you want to do it and you go from there now I think this is something good to put out for decor and you can also give it to your little to your daughter and let her play with it with her dolls and make good for that it just really depends So I got one more yellow flower. And then the flowers will be done. And then all I gotta do is paint the stems and that butterfly that I, for some reason, overlooked when I looked at this. I mean, it's obvious as a butterfly. Why didn't I notice it? Now, also what you can do when you're doing this is you could try to smooth out all the brush strokes or you can leave them on there and give it a bit of texture. So that is another option. So I'm going to use one of my color shifts, this pastel purple, to do the butterfly. Because I just think it's a such pretty colors. I like all my pastel colors. I mean my color shift colors. But I think this will work really well with this color scheme we got going. This little theme of colors. So.
We're just gonna do this. And give it a good base. There we go. Oops. Put my finger right in the color. There we go. I think that's going to make a great color butterfly. Now, I don't have, you don't have to do this. You can do the whole butterfly the color you're gonna pick or you can do what I'm doing and I'm gonna paint the body of the butterfly black it'll help you know pop the rest of the color look at that isn't that pretty I'll make I'll pick it up so you can see it closer all right so isn't that gorgeous? Now all that's left is doing the stems and the leaves. So now we're gonna move on and do the last of it. And I just think this is gonna come out so pretty, y'all. I went ahead and kept using my little paintbrush because this is small detail. So you can do the same. Now, right here where this comes over, you can either have it where it's in front of this thing or you can have it behind. I'm gonna do it where the floor, flower is in front of the stem. But if that's too difficult for you, you can do it where it's behind. It's not a big deal which way you go with it. Look at that. It's looking good. <laughs> I'll tell you like this, just do whatever you think is the easiest for you. And I also tend to make me a mark where it ends so that I don't go past it as you can see. Or try not to go past it. I have messed up before. But even messed ups can come out looking beautiful. There is another way. If you don't want to do all of this like I'm doing, you can paint the houses and leave these wooden colored. And it'll work just as well. So that is another option you can look into. It's whatever you feel comfortable doing, really. trying to my hands not as steady as it used to be So now onto this flower, and same thing. I'm 
Look at that. Of course, we have to let this dry before we put it against the house. But look at that. Aren't they beautiful? I think they came out looking really good, y'all. I'm happy with them. All right, y'all. I just decided I wanted to add one more piece to this. And you really don't have to do it if you don't want to, but I decided I wanted to do this. So, I'm going to paint this pot yellow. That's the color I picked for it. And then after they dry, I'll show you why I decided to do one more. You do not have to. You, it's fine if you just do the pieces we picked, we decided on. This was just a last minute because I had an idea. All right, now we just got to let it all dry. All right, so I'm going to show y'all what I had planned. Okay, so I'm going to take my wheelbarrow and then this pot I decided to paint, I wanted to put back here behind it, kind of like the wheelbarrow settles on it, like that. That was my thought. And then I'm going to take the floral... The flower and the um yeah my brain died the um watering can I'm sorry and do like that and then on this one I thought I could do that look how pretty all that's gonna look on there and they also have other sides you can do too if you decide like if you really really like this you can do four of them and go all the way around I just want to show you something simple and easy or if you want to put them like that you can do three sides you know it's just and you can do the same and it's just something that's gonna be easy and it's gonna come out looking absolutely gorgeous so that's the plan so we're gonna take and we're gonna add the glue And we're just gonna go from there we're gonna glue this stuff on there and look at that doesn't that look awesome and like I said you can also um, put when my brain can think of the word um Stain, that's what it's called, on the houses to give them another color. Or if you don't want to paint all these little pieces, you can put the paint on the houses and leave these wooded pieces right the original color or even stain them. Just different ways to do it. So don't feel like you can only do it one way. Look at it, how easy and simple it comes out looking. And they look great. And you can put them different ways. Like, see? And it just... I think they come out looking amazing. Let me show you close up. Look at that. They are absolutely gorgeous. And they fit any home decor. Or, again, like I said, you can give them to your child. And let them play with them with their dolls. So, that's it for today's video. I had so much fun making these little decorative pieces and I hope you enjoyed it and if you do please like share subscribe and comment down below so I'll see you next time bye